morning everybody moon glow here uh, again today is August the 26th Sunday anyway <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't really make any difference what day it is anyway out here in nature it doesn't matter every day is a new day and nature doesn't tell you today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday. It just tells you today is a new day. So, anyway, one of the subjects I want to talk about is, oh goodness, is um, where I shop at. Where do I get my groceries, my supplies? Generally, uh, I go to Dollar General, Family Dollar, um, oh my goodness, uh, there's a, what is it, Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. It's cheap. You get the same thing, the same kind of canned food that you get in a grocery store, but considerably cheaper. Now, if I want fresh fruits and vegetables, and I want fresh meat, then I do go to a grocery store. And I don't go to the little mom and pop ones because they're a little higher, and I can understand why. And if I had the money, I would. But I try to go, like, to Brookshire's or um, Winn-Dixie or Publix or anything like that to get my fresh meat and my fresh veggies. Uh, I also love to stop at little stands, you know, on the road and buy my vegetables or fruits, whatever they have available there. I like to do that also. Um, for some reason, when, when it comes to those little fruit stands or veggie stands, I feel better about what I'm buying than I do in a grocery store because I don't know where it comes from, what they use, you know, and uh, you have to be careful what you put inside of you because what you put in you is what comes out. And that could be a lot of sickness too. So anyway, those are basically where I do my, my shopping. Now, when I was in Phoenix, the 99 cent store there, it was amazing. I mean, they had vegetables and fruits and all kinds of things in there, not even counting the canned food. All kinds of vegetables and all. Like, I bought a bundle of asparagus for 99 cents, and I love asparagus. Oh, so many ways to cook asparagus. So... You know, I don't know, I know that all of them don't have that. And I imagine that maybe in a big city, that's where you'll find it. I I don't know. But I sure did enjoy shopping there. And everything was so, so cheap. I mean, I would come out of there with everything I need, maybe spending... $30, $40, and that would last me almost a whole month, while in the grocery store, that would be over $100 for sure, way over 100 so that's where I do my shopping. I also like if I need uh, anything, you know, like uh, cups or, or uh tumblers or anything like that, I also get it at those stores, especially in the 99 cent and the Dollar Tree, because they're a dollar. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than going to, well, even Dollar General and uh, Family Dollar. You don't get those tumblers and you don't get those mugs for 99 cents. You pay a little more, like maybe two something or so I try to get everything I need, like um, I buy 
my aspirins, my Tylenol, my um, uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, all these things that you need for daily use, my deodorant, I buy all that at Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. If I can't find one, then of course I go to Dollar General or Family Dollar, but I try to find them because they're a lot cheaper. <laughs> I was looking like, I bought a spatula and I bought it mainly for my coloring books, but it's got rubber tip on each end. I use one as a spatula, the other end I use for my coloring. <clears throat> but you can pull them apart. You can wash them. You know, it's really, it's nice. But anyway, it's a Betty Crocker one, and it's a silicone. I paid 99 cents at Dollar Tree. And when I went to look at Dollar General, they wanted almost $3 for it. And I'm like, really? Wow. How did that happen? <laughs> so, you know, you have to, I mean, I, I would love to go to Trader John's or Trader Joe's or whatever, uh, because I love their their food, but I don't love their prices. I can't afford their prices. I like they have a lot of generics, uh, not generics, organic. I love that. But, I, like I said, I don't like the price. I can't afford the price, I'll put it that way. So... Well, the more I play with my tripod, the more I know I need another one. <laughs> this leg does not want to stay on. I mean, I can't glue it, although I would like to, but I can't because it needs to be positioned, and I can't position it if it's glued on there. And the other day when I was taping, the leg came completely off. I don't know how, but it came off, and whew, I was lucky. I caught it in time because that, my phone would have been a disaster. <laughs> but, well, guys, just when you shop, be very frugal. Be very frugal. Even if you have the money to be able to spend, save save that money all that extra money that you would have spent in the regular stores department stores walmart what have you save the money that's money in your pocket that's how i do it anybody else i don't know but that's the way i shop i buy most of my meats a can come in a can because it's easier to preserve, you know. And as far as vegetables, I've got a lot of dehydrated vegetables um, that I can use anytime I want. I try not to use it now because there's going to come a time that we might just need to use it. So I try not to use very much of it. Um, As I said in my earlier video, you know, my heart goes out to the McCain family. It's really bad, but he was a hero to the end. McCain was a hero to the very end. Um, oh, another person that passed that I really admired was Aretha Franklin. She was awesome, awesome. And uh, my condolences goes to her family, too. I found out the other day, just looking through Facebook, and I hadn't talked to this friend of mine since last October. And at the time, he was in the hospital. He had had a heart attack. So, you know, I wished him well and speedy recovery and all that. 
And I hadn't talked to him since, because I haven't been on Facebook as much as I used to be. And uh, I was looking, and I went to his page and found out that he passed away in January. And I really felt bad, because he was a really nice guy. I, he was really nice. He's the one that encouraged me to, in the summertime in Arizona, it's so hot. And he lived in Quartzsite. So during the summer, he would go to Goldfield, Nevada, where it was cooler. And wow, well, that just fell off the tree and landed right on me. <laughs> but anyway, he... Uh, he encouraged me to go to Goldfield for the summer, and I did. I took my my uh, Class C that I had at the time, and I went over there. In fact, my Class C is still in Goldfield, Nevada. Not worth anything now, but it's still there. Um, And I love that little town. You know, that I always would say that Goldfield, Nevada is a town with a lot of character and a lot of characters. Because it did. There was this one man there who believed he was part alien. <laughs> and he would tell everybody, don't tell anybody now that I'm part alien. Well, I, I won't say anything. <laughs> He would tell that to everybody. Uh, he was so funny. He was like in his 80s, and uh, he passed away. You know, when I, I, I reflect back in the last three, four years, how many people that I have known, even younger than me, that have passed away, and I'm thankful every day that my health is good, and that I'm able to do all the things that I can do and that I enjoy because we never know. We never know. Well, guys, ending with that sad part, I'm sorry. Uh, don't forget to love one another. Love thyself. Hugs to every one of you. And like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. If you want to see another video of mine, click on that. In the meantime, peace. Love you all.